Well, a foundation that has a knack for helping adults with developmental disabilities could use your help with a new project. Indeed, Lori Wallace is live with more on Fly Brave. We love this organization. Yes. They're awesome people. And they've done a little renovations, right? Oh. They have done some major renovations. And you guys, it is Vanessa and six other kick butt moms with kids on the spectrum <laughs> that came in this building and completely renovated it with the help of John right there, too. Because John. guess what? He did the floors, he painted the ceilings, he's done all the things. And this is all volunteer work, you guys. And this has been set aside for people on the spectrum as adults to come in here, work, learn life skills, and actually have somewhere to go. And, and to learn new things. And Vanessa, you've done such an amazing job. So it's so great to be here. We're in the beginning stages of this yep. place. Yep, so we just finished the repair and the maintenance. Ceilings, floors, put in the bathroom, painted the walls. You guys saw the video. We completely <laughs> transformed this place. So now we are in the set up the store mode. So the vision for this is the Fly Brave Emporium new and used finds. So over here on the right, this is all of our thrift area here. In the back with the tables and chairs is the kickback area where, you know, you can come in, there'll be a puzzle there, you can read a book. Over here in this corner where all of these donations are, this is gonna be the art and design department. So we're in need of desks and chairs for our clients to be able to run art and design. And then this wall is actually coming out and this is gonna be an office. And our clients are gonna learn office and technology skills here. And this over here is our pride and joy. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk, you guys, because she mentioned all the used items over here, which uh, that's this side of the store. But over here, this is really special. These are all uh, people that are on the spectrum that have actually created and made these items. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. So these are from all different parts of the US. And this is my buddy Aiden right here. He just sent these in. He is nine years old and he made these for his mom and he sent them in and said, Miss Vanessa, I wanna help you raise money. And so his mom made copies of these for us. And so shout out to Aiden at nine years old, helping us raise money for this program. And these are all the shirts we make. So in our art and design department, we make these shirts. Yeah, and by the way, Vanessa does not sleep. When she says she makes those, <laughs> oh the little gosh. press is right there on the counter. She does everything here. Oh, wow. I'm so gosh. blown away by the work that she does. Um, and then right here, right tell here. me about this. So Kenny from Painting on the Spectrum, you can find him on Instagram, painting underscore on underscore. Oh, the Spectrum is amazing. He donated this art to us. And Natalie is our fashionista. She's gonna have her own boutique. We have a little bit about Fabulous. her here. She's going to do different outfits of the day. And of course, she's going to do outfits of the day. Yeah, Look I at these it. beautiful dresses. And so what we need is shelving. So we just kind of put together what we had on hand, but we really need shelving and desks and donations and places to hang all this amazing art. If you have little round tables like this that you could bring in and donate to us so that we can put, oh, yeah. we have artists locally that make soap and yeah. purses and different things like that. And it's also a shout out to our community. If you're a local artist and you need a platform to sell your stuff, this is a great space. Yeah, a great space. We got to wrap it up, but real quick, I cannot do that without you telling me real quickly the reason why we're here and how you got started doing this. This amazing guy right here. This, what's your name? I am. Oh. I am John. I am. So it's my son, oh. John, and he has nonverbal autism. He ran the Boston Marathon in 2019. Yeah, he He's John, running it John. again on October 11th. Yeah. And when he was aging out of school, I couldn't find any further, you know, employment or anything like that. So I built this with my kitchen remodel money and hope and faith and a dream five years ago mm. and today oh, here it. we are right oh, John I just I just lo you. love these two I'm coming back I'm not done here uh, because they're actually making a coffee shop in the back oh, so this whole place will be finished soon and we're gonna come see the completed project yeah. uh, when they're all done Vanessa's just gonna continue to not sleep and, <laughs> yeah. and finish that too <laughs> I'll send it back to you guys. That oh my is gosh. so cool. I can't wait to visit it. And uh, tell John his next run. I'm yes. behind him all the way. Remember when John John got That's injured. That's the guy right there. And still was pushing. Yeah. Still, he was still running. He is no joke. You cannot stop that dude. Oh.